guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a fun little video about Gen Z slang. I am millennial because I'm 31 years old, so let's see how many Gen Z slangs that I know. This is gonna be super fun. Okay, so the first one is flex, to show off or boast about one's accomplishments, possessions, or attributes. It can refer to displaying wealth, achievements, or even physical fitness. Okay, I feel like this one's Gen Z and Millennial. I think Millennials also use this word. So yeah, this one I do know. The second one is yeet. Okay, originally an exclamation of excitement. Yeet has involved, evolved to become a verb meaning to throw or discard something with force or enthusiasm. Um, I don't know the word yeet. I've heard people say it, but never used it myself and don't exactly know how to use it still. I guess maybe it's kind of like, yes, yes, but yeet? You can comment down below if you think I'm correct, but that's what I'm assuming. Okay, the next one is lit. Uh, used to describe something that is exciting, cool, or amazing. It can refer to a party, event, or even a person's overall appearance or demeanor. This one I think has been going on for a very long time. I think millennials have I mean, I used this in my early 20s, so I feel like this one's millennial as well. Okay, the next one is snack, a term to describe someone who is attractive or visually appealing, often used with a playful or flirtatious connotation. I feel like this one is also Gen Z and millennial because millennials use this too. Obviously, if somebody's, you know, hot, then they're like, ooh, that, they're looking like a snack or whatever. But yeah, okay. Extra refers to someone who goes above and beyond often in a dramatic or exaggerated way It can be used to describe someone's behavior and fashion choices or often per overall personality This one's also one that I already know. Wow. I feel like I knew more than I thought uh, So yeah, uh, clout the next one is clout Refers to social influence popularity or fame it can be used to describe someone who is well known or has a large following on social media Okay, I knew this one as well. I'm really surprised. I wonder if there's any that I don't know so far. But yeah, clout is obviously how popular someone is, how famous. Gucci. Originally a luxury fashion brand, Gucci is now used as slang to mean something is good, cool, or satisfactory. It is often used in phrases like, that's Gucci, or everything's Gucci. I actually have heard this one too, which I'm really surprised by, but... Uh, for a while now, so I guess Millennials also use it. I think it's fair to say that, but I don't really use that word Okay, the next one is FOMO Acronym of fear of fear of missing out it describes the feeling of anxiety or insecurity that arises from the belief that others might be having fun or experiencing something exciting without you FOMO I feel like is also Millennial and uh, Gen Z like combined Okay, the next word is ship, short for relationship. This term is used to d express support or desire for two people to enter into a romantic relationship. It can also refer to the pairing of fictional characters in books, movies, or TV shows. I actually do know this word, but I feel like I learned it like semi-recently, like last year, but nonetheless, I do know it. Surprisingly, I still know it. Okay, so the next one is sus. Oh my gosh, this is totally Gen Z because I don't use this word. Um, short for suspicious. It is used to describe someone or something that appears questionable, shady, or untrustworthy. Okay, I don't use this word, but I mean, I definitely know what it means. So, okay, the next one is squad goals. This one seems really obvious to me. Okay refers to the aspiration or idealized group of friends or social circle that someone would like to be part of. It often, often represents a group of that is stylish, supportive, and successful. Okay, cool. Uh, I knew that one. I mean, I thought it was obvious, but that's awesome. I know like almost all of them so far. Okay, the next one is Bay. Uh, an acronym for before anyone else or an, a term of endearment meaning a romantic partner or loved one. It is often used to refer to a boyfriend, girlfriend, or spouse. I didn't know Bay was before anyone else, but I definitely knew it was for like boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, whatever, just like your significant other. 
but how many people knew it was before anyone else? Because I didn't. All right. So the next one is um, savage. Used to describe someone who is fierce, confident, or unapologetically themselves. They can also refer to a witty or sarcastic comment that is particularly cutting, cutting or clever. Um, this one I feel like is really obvious. I did know it. Maybe because it's in music, it's extremely common. But uh, I think most of these are kind of like millennial and Gen Z. But that's just my opinion. Surprisingly, I knew all of them so far. Okay, so the next one is woke. Originally referring to being aware of social injustices and systemic issues, woke has evolved to meaning socially conscious, informed, empathetic towards various marginalized groups. Hmm. I did know woke, but, and I kind of use it, but it, it, I definitely use it for political things. Um, but I, I don't really like the word. I think it's kind of cringy, but I mean, I guess I did know it, but woke is becoming kind of cringy because it's like kind of like to me it has this all-knowing side of sort of feeling to it which that's why I don't like like it so much but uh I did know it <laughs> so um it seems like the only one the only word that I didn't know was yeet but I pretty much knew all of them um flex I I actually don't use a lot of these words. I'll name off the ones that I don't use that much, but um, flex, I feel like I use that word. Yeet, no, I, no, I don't use that word. Lit, I use that word here and there. Snack, not really, but it's just not my personality. Um, extra, I, I can, yeah, I use it here and there. Clout, yeah, if I'm describing clout, then sure I will. Gucci, I don't use that word. Gucci, I don't at all. Uh, FOMO, um, here and there because it is a way to describe stuff, so sure. Ship, I never ship anyone, so I don't use the ship word. <laughs> and then, uh, sus, definitely so Gen Z. I don't use sus at all, but I mean, I just don't use it. It's not my personality, maybe? I don't know, but it seems like a really common word people could use, so no. And then, um, squad goals, no, I've never used that. Bay, yes, I have. Um, woke, yeah, I have. And then, um, savage, I have, but not so much. Maybe it's not my personality, I don't know. But yeah, um, I thought there would be a lot of words that I didn't know, but surprisingly, all the ones that ChatGPT knows, I know. So that was pretty surprising. Hope you guys enjoyed my video and thanks for watching. Bye!